welcome back to Pigaroo HQ. Today I'm going to show you how to make your own DIY fleece pocket. This is entirely hand sewn, there's no sewing machine involved, so anyone can make this. The supplies you'll be needing for this are a piece of fleece, some thread that matches your fleece, and of course a needle. You'll want a medium sized needle. Now you'll notice that there are three sides of your blanket that have frayed edges and those are going to be the sides that we are sewing up. Also notice that I have folded my blanket in half already. I'm going to be doubling up the fleece and this makes it extra cozy for your guinea pigs. So now I have turned the blanket so that I have two frayed sides across from each other and I'm going to fold one side to the other and so now instead of three frayed sides, I have two. You want to get these edges lined up as closely as possible. If you want to be extra careful, you can actually pin these together so that while you're sewing they don't move around, but I decided to just wing it. So first things first, we gotta tie a knot in the end of our thread, so we're gonna wrap it around our fingers once, twice, and on the third time around we're gonna pull that nice loop off of our fingers and we're going to put the end of the thread through that hole and then you just want to pull it tight. We're going to now repeat that process two or three more times and you want to make sure that each time the knot is landing in the exact same spot so that you have one small knot growing into a bigger and bigger one. You can kind of guide the thread along to make sure that it gets into the right spot. So we have longer edges and shorter edges of the fleece and we're going to start by sewing up the shorter edge. The stitch we're using today is called the loop stitch. We're literally just looping it around. So we are going to start from underneath the fleece and pulling it upwards and then we're going to loop it around to that frayed edge and go from underneath again. So we're always going from underneath, never from the top going down. So if you run out of thread on your needle while you're in the middle of sewing, don't worry, I will show you how to tie off. So you're going to start by going backwards one stitch and then you'll get a nice loop and what you do is you take your needle and you thread it through that loop three times and then pull it tight and that's how you tie off your thread. Then you can just thread up your needle again and start exactly where we left off. When you get to the corner, you can either tie it off if you're running low on thread or you can kind of stitch around the corner like I am doing here. Congratulations, you have now officially finished one side of your pocket and your stitches should look something like this. I did start getting a little bit impatient and my stitches got a little big, so try to be patient and keep your stitches small and close together. So 
So now that we are finished sewing up the two sides of the pocket, we're just going to turn it inside out so that the seams are on the inside of the pocket. And this just makes it look a little bit neater so that none of the seams are visible. So you'll find that there's multiple different ways that you can fold your pocket. Um, you can just make a small fold, you can make a bigger fold. So just play around with it and figure out what your guinea pigs like best. Time to see if it's guinea pig approved. 